Ladies and gentlemen, you may have heard of the uh, widely popular mod for Armour 2 named Daisy. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to install, activate and find servers to play this mod on. Basically the, the basics of the basics of actually getting it to work, troubleshooting, that sort of thing. In the next video I will be showing you how to actually play the game. But before you can do that you actually have to get in the game. So what is Daisy? Daisy is an open world sort of survival shooter set in a zombie apocalypse world of Chernorus, which is in Russia. Well, it's just outside Russia, but same difference. It's a multiplayer only, and sort of the hook of the game is that you're trying really hard to survive while all these other players are in this open world with you. And obviously, say you've got some food and there's another player that's starving to death, then they can kill you to take your food, or they can talk to you, or you can bribe them with your food, or there's lots of sort of interplay between different players at the same time. And it makes all the encounters you have with other players really tense and really fun, and it's a very, very, very cool game. It's a bit janky, but that is, it is a mod at the minute, and obviously there's a standalone version coming out very soon that should hopefully fix some of those. But for now, the mod is all we've got, and it's pretty damn good as it is. So, how do you actually install Daisy? Let me show you. So, the first thing you need to do is obviously you have to have the uh, base game that we're going to mod. So, you need to go to Steam. We're just having some sale at the minute, which is pretty awesome. Some good games on sale. And you need to search for Armour 2. It doesn't have to be all caps, but obviously it's actually in caps itself. And so, you see all these different things. There's a lot of them. But what you need to play Daisy mod is Armour 2 Combined Operations. And what that is, is a combination of ARM2 and ARM2 Operation Harrowhead. So you can buy both of those separately, and then when you boot them up, they turn into combined operations. Or you can just buy combined operations, and then it works just as well, because it is basically just buying both the games but in one package. You can see here, Daisy mod requires ARM2 and ARM2 Operation Harrowhead. Both are included in this bundle. And yeah, that's all you need. There is DLC for this, which is some of these things, but all they do is add high resolution textures for the um, weapons and vehicles, stuff like that. You don't need those, they're just cosmetic. So you can see at the minute it's £11.38. It's not very much for a fantastic game like this, and obviously as well as DayZ, you, got the, you get the entire of Armour 2 and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead as well. So it's a pretty good deal. Anyway, once you've bought and downloaded those, you need to boot them up, Armour 2 first, then Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. Make sure you update it and get like the newest patch and stuff like that. And then once you've booted them both up, they will turn into combined operations and you're ready to go. So the next thing you need to do is go to Daisy Commander, just here, okay? Which is www.daisycommander.com. And all you need to do is scroll down all the way down here and click download daisy commander i'm not going to do it here i've already got it installed but you just click that button and download it and then it will give you the installer you click the installer you install the thing okay and then you get daisy commander like this and what you can do here is you can go to settings and you can go down to these game directories and check that they are correct you should have your steam steam maps common armor 2 steam steam maps common armor 2 operation arrowhead and then your daisy one, you just need to quickly make a little folder called at daisy. It's pretty simple. You don't even actually have to do that if you don't want it. So when you've done that and you've made sure that both your games are installed and they're on here, don't worry about any of the other options. Just make sure both of those are right. You go to install update. You have to install this Armour 2 beta patch just here. You just click install there. Instead of reinstall, you can see like on here it says install. And then once that's installed, you have to click Daisy here, click install there. You can pick the different versions, but the latest one is the one you'll probably want. You click install, and then once that's done, you should probably close and restart Daisy Commander. And then over in this filter here, you click Daisy only. You can pick how many players you want. We're just going to go with like 90 or something so that it comes up with hardly any server so it doesn't break. And yeah, then all you have to do is find your server you want, double click on it, and it will take you in the game. It's that simple. Daisy Commander is a fantastic tool, and I'm not sponsored by them in any way. It's just the easiest, fastest way to get Daisy working, really. So once you've had for your fun with normal Daisy, you can start getting all these other Daisy maps and mods and stuff like that. 
and to find a server for them literally all you have to do is change it here so say we wanted to go on a daisy map called overon we just click on it and then there's overon servers it's a much easier way of doing things if you want your steam overlay just click launch using steam and replace those with beta and then that gives you your steam overlay if you're planning on streaming it or out tabbing out add that no pause command there and then it won't pause the game when you out tab out and if you want to play windowed you just click the windowed mode and that is literally it it's that easy so i hope that you enjoy your time playing daisy and the next video i will cover the actual gameplay mechanics and how you play it but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you next time